Welcome back to Dream Daddy Dad Dating Simulator. I have been waiting to play this game again. I love this game. I love the story. I love the daddies. I get to work on packing the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass and I get some good work done. The washer dry unit is both washing and drying and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. So we met two of the daddies. No, oh no, my dogs thought that was a real doorbell. <laughs> First visitor already. I walk over to the door and open it. That was hilarious. Hello. Yeah. A handsome, clean-cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. Hello. Wow. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next-door neighbor. Oh, yes. Hi, I'm Eddie. That's what my name is. <laughs> I saw the movie bit and thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter Christy wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Joseph leans in and whispers. <laughs> But between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. <laughs> we both share a laugh. Kids, right? Hey. Am I right? <laughs> wow, cookies, huh? That's the, fa that's the fastest a child will move for cookies. All right, Miss Amanda, so nice to meet you. Joseph hands you the plate of cookies with a smile. Uh. <laughs> well, thanks for the cookies. Amanda disappears with the cookies. <laughs> Those cookies are going to be gone. Mm. Amanda, come but And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. <laughs> Daughters are tough. Sons are also hmm. tough. Children in general are just tough. I uh, hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try and raise more yeah. than two. I have four kids. Oh, my God. What have you done? <laughs> oh, um, I meant... Yeah. Don't worry. You didn't mean to be rude. Oh, no. This is the first neighbor I've met, and my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. Oh, my God. I relate to him so much. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Is the missus around? Uh, mister, actually. And, er... Uh, no, not anymore. He died. Yeah. Aw. Uh. Uh, oh, no. Yeah. I'm sorry for your loss. No, no. It's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, actually aware of how awkward we both made uh. things. Now, now they're even. I'm sorry. Can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph quizzically, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Always oh, starting over again. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? <laughs> that sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is perfectly normal amount of children to have. <laughs> this is so awesome. We shake hands to seal the deal. Hey. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away but stops to think for a second and turns oh. around. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy if you ever need to talk about stuff. Um, the youth minister at a church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Nice. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. Oh, points for that, Dad. And with that, Joseph's gone. He seemed nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face, <laughs> cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recover I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See, you're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? Mm. They gone. I'm sorry. Hey. I'm sorry, Dad. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway. I love this game. I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Joseph probably wants his plate back. I think we got a ton of good neighbor points if we bring this back. We're going to be the best neighbors in this whole cul-de-sac. We're going to kick all the neighbors' butts. With kindness. <laughs> this game is so adorable. I love this game. Amanda and I step outside. Eh? Shoot, I'm actually not sure which house is his. Mm. I'd hazard to guess it's the big one with all of the well-groomed blonde children sitting in the yard. Yeah, you think? Good eye, kid. Ah. And remember, we need to make a positive first impression here. Keep it light. Oh, God, that just spells disaster. We walk up to the kids and wave. Hey, guys, is your dad around? They all just stare at us blankly. We just wanted to uh, return this nice plate, and thank you for the cookies. Geez, these definitely are Joseph's kid. They all look exactly like him. Christy. What? They were really good. Christian. I mean, I heard they were good. I didn't get to eat any. Chris. Oh, God, they all have the same name. I chuckle nervously. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, okay. We're just going to set this plate down on the ground real gentle and then back away slowly. Right, Dad? Right. That's what we're going to do. 
kid's eyes bore into us as we scurry away. I can feel their gaze on my back even as we approach our house. What the fuck's huh. up with these kids? I need something to get my mind off of those carbon copy kids. I need to rest my eyes. Well, there was only three kids. I, he said he had four. Huh? I need to rest my eyes. You've been awake for, what, three hours? And that's three hours too many. You can save bookmarks directly to your desk. Oh, God. This game is adorable. I love it. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Eddie, bro. bro. Oh, is that the dude? Who is this? Daddy. I turn around and I am greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Craig? Oh. Bro. Bro. Oh. Holy wow. I haven't seen Craig in forever. Craig is looking fine. Uh -huh. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow. You look great. And look at that adorable baby he has. Nice. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda, this is uh, my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. <laughs> Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello and hello, cute baby. Mm. Aw, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. Oh, my God, River! He picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. Look at how freaking cute she is. Are you babysitting? Oh. Nah, dude, River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers and the next with both fathers. Where you been, man? Mm -hmm. I was working out in California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding. Amanda and I just moved to this side of town. How's Smashly doing? Oh, man. I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. Oh. She's actually still goes by Smashly, and uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Nice. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all copacetic. So they have three kids. Twins? You have three kids? Mm. Ain't like something, bro? Right? Keg Stan Craig is a father of three. Mm. <laughs> Keg Stan Craig? Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, it was my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. Mm. Thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> it's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg. Oh. Right. Don't be teaching her anything, please. He was very good at it. Mm. <laughs> Ah, uh, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog, and I really got to keep up my heart rate for river along for, you know, resistance training. Look at how cute she is. She's blowing bubbles. Oh, my God. I can't even take it. She's so cute. You jog daily. I jog yearly. On January 1st, when I promised myself that I'm going to jog daily for the rest of the year, but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. Oh, my God. He is me. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. Haha. -ha, I don't know. Bro. Come on, it'd be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We could do a bro lunch like the good old days. All right, sure. Sounds great. Mm. Great. Let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jogs off. Can't believe Craig is ripped and he has kids. I am reeling. Mm. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Ew, that's so gross. I hope he was stoned because that is the only acceptable excuse for that. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing and he said, and I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bro. <laughs> I mean, technically, he's not wrong. <laughs> I love this game. He jogs. He was jogging. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. Oh, damn. Amanda and I flop down onto the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before oh. she can sit. Too bad we're going to be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. Are they moving away again? No, don't say that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dad, it's going to be okay. I'll be fine. Oh, she's going to college. Okay. I know, I know. It's just... You're my little girl. It's going to be weird not having you around. Huh. I'll come visit, and I'll text you every day, and I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Oh, of course. You're going to be okay by your lonesome. Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. Plus, he's got all these cute daddies to keep him company. All right. A dog. Yes. <laughs> Forget arts to, forget art school, I'll stay for the talk. Oh, uh, is that what it's gonna take? Yeah. Medium sized dog, handkerchief around the neck, I get to name it. That's what it'll cost for me to give up all my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well a dog is a lot cheaper than college. <laughs> Amanda laughs. She's adorable. Huh. 
I love the characters in this game so much. Suddenly a pile of envelopes slides through the mail slot. Speaking of college, Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest back All on right. the floor. This is from McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it! Hmm. But I'm scared! It's just an envelope. Hmm. Yeah, it's just like my entire future. Not a big deal. Hmm. She takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. Oh god, we have a letter opener, but um, okay. Hmm? I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes dart back and forth scanning the letter. What does it say? <laughs> uh, the admissions committee has reviewed your application. Blah, 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 blah. Um, we... <sighs> her face drops. Oh, no. Regret to inform you that we're unable to offer you admission to McGowan College of Art and Design. <sighs> Amanda throws the letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. <sighs> it's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their admissions officer told me they just want to see portraits or whatever. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into por your portfolio. Some of the school is going to want to snatch you up hmm. for sure, girl. Girl. Yeah, no, it's fine. Are you actually fine or are you just saying that? Mm. I'm fine. Really. She's not fine. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't huh. push her on this. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. Oh, God, great. <gasps> Teenage sleepover party. So, you need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool. <laughs> I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. Well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have the new place huh. to yourself. Yeah, what are your plans? Quick, think of plans. <laughs> I have no life. <laughs> I'm going clubbing. Gotta attend the union meeting. I'm secretly the mayor of this town. <laughs> I like that one. Amanda, the town needs me. I need to perform my mayoral duties. I must don my top hat and wear my monocle so that I may preside over my mayor stuff. I think you're thinking of the guy from Monopoly. He was a mayor, right? Eh? He was not. Right. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to go to bed, go out and watch the game. Nice. Mm -hmm. Which game? You know, the game. The one that's on tonight. He has no idea what game is on tonight. Dad. Dad. The game on TV at somewhere other than here. Huh. Okay, cool. While you do that, I'm going to do drugs and commit some light arson with the Emmas. <laughs> I'm concerned you're hanging with the wrong crowd. Amanda shrugs. I would have expected you guys to be up to white-collar crime by this point. Maybe money laundering at the least. Ah. I'm a street rat, Pops. Oh, she's adorable. You're kidding about doing drugs and crime, right? Oh. Just, just to be sure. <laughs> yes, Dad. Just making sure. Ah. I give her a pat on the head. <laughs> Teenagers love that. <laughs> Have fun with your sports. Are you being sarcastic? Aww. No, making fun of sports is played yep. out. All right, then. I do some light cleaning around the house and decide to clear out right before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Uh. Hey, don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. All right, Mr. Vega. Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. He didn't remember. First is worst, second is the best, third is the one with the hairiest chest. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow, I guess I really didn't think this plan through. I'm not entirely sure where the closest bar is, and Amanda still hasn't shown me how to use the GPS on my phone. So I'm just going to pick a direction and walk in it. Let's go. This way. Cool. Okay, we're marching. We're marching in the direction of the game. Any game, really. In the distance. Could it be? Jim and Kim's. A big burned-out neon sign hangs above a tiny dive bar. Jim and Kim's, huh? All right, it'll do. Beggars can't be choosers. Look at this hot-ass mess bar. The bar is small and dimly lit. The crack of pool bowl sounds in the back as patrons laugh and joke. A string of multicolored Christmas lights hover above the bartender. I can't tell if he's Jim or Kim. I pull up a seat at the bar. What'll it be? One beer, please. Sure thing, boss. The bartender slides me a nice cold beer. I take a sip and enjoy the refreshing taste. Say, are you Jim or Kim? I'm Neil. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I awkwardly turn my attention to the game, which is playing on one of the TVs on the wall. As luck would have it, my team of preference is not only playing, but is currently in the lead, which is always a good thing. The brightly colored mascot, which is some kind of animal, does cartwheels. I silently cheer on my favorite team, hoping that I don't get into any confrontational arguments with a fan of the opposing team. 
Several people in this bar are wearing the distinctive colors of the team I dislike. Although, I believe from their demeanor that, like me, the passion for their team is only good fun. Mmm, you thought wrong. Oh. Oh, who is this? Wine drinking Christian woman. A middle-aged woman holding a nearly empty wine glass slides up to the bar and sits uncomfortably close to me. Girl, you a hot-ass mess. I could just... Hey, sailor! There you go. Proof. Hot-ass mess. Oh, hello. Ah. <laughs> Good to see fresh meat in here. I'm Mary. Come here often. Mary. Mary, you bugging. Oh, no. I actually just moved to this part of town today. I'm Eddie, by the way. Uh? And I'm not interested, miss. <laughs> Are you watching the game? Yeah, my preferred team is in the lead. If they keep this up, they'll win the game with hey. ease. Oh, I love that team. And also, I love that game. I love someone who knows their way around balls. She says with no irony whatsoever. I'm getting the impression that she's a little drunk. Um. Hmm. Buy a gala drink? Don't buy me. Well, we're going to buy this hot ass mess of drink just to see where this goes. I almost reluctantly single the bartender and order Mary another glass of wine. Neil jokes back and forth with Mary. They're clearly friends, and this clearly isn't her first time doing this. She tips her glass at me. Suppose I gotta keep you company hey. now. So what do you wanna know? What's your deal? What do you think of the... What's the latest gossip? Mary's gonna know everything. <laughs> you came to the right broad. Uh. I'm an observer. I watch people. I see everything. Know everyone. Nothing gets past me. So... Ugh. So what? I thought you were gonna... Hmm. I forgot what we were talking about. About the gossip. You said nothing gets past you. All right. I'm also a steel trap. Confidential to a fault. So what else can you tell me about this part of town? Ah. It's quiet, that's for sure. If you want an idyllic little life with white pickup fences, this is the place to do it. But every town has its secrets, you know. She takes a sip of her drink that was a little too ominous for my taste. She leans closer. Oh. Would you like to learn some of my secrets? Oh, boy. Uh, maybe some other time. Ugh. Sit yourself, sailor. Mary saunters off, setting her sights on the newest bar patron to enter. I happily watch get the game over another beer. The game has gotten close in terms of points. A little too close with what I'm comfortable with. After a particularly skilled player scores a number of points for the other team, putting them in the lead, I hear an affirmative grunt from another man at the ball. Go team. It's the brooding man from the coffee spoon. Oh, he looks like trouble. He sits alone sipping whiskey and watching the game as well. Enjoying the game? I am now that we're winning. Oh, we must be rooting for different teams. In my opinion, my team is far superior. I have to disagree with that based upon our win-loss record. I'd say that my team is superior. That's where you're wrong, since as it stands right now, my team is beating yours. The conversation ends there. We both go back to silently rooting for our respective teams. The game is close, with both sides playing their hardest to win. But in the end, my team prevails. Quiet cheers ripple throughout the ball. I raise a respectful glass to the man drinking whiskey. He raises his in response. An unspoken truce is formed between us based on mutual love for the game. He motions to the bartender who pours two glasses of whiskey. The man slides one over to me. The name's Robert. Thanks. I'm Eddie. Hey. You must be new here. Mary already hit on you. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Robert chuckles. <laughs> She's a peach. Well, you pick the best bar in town. As slimy as it is, you'll never find a better spot than Jim and Kim's. Is there actually a Jim or Kim that runs hey. this place? No. That'll be Neil. Neil waves from across the bar. Oh. Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in this world. Oh, okay. Uh. You a whiskey fella or a beer fella? Beer, but I'll drink most things. Mm. You like shots? Oh. Oh, shots fired. I don't like them. <laughs> well, that's going to be a problem. Oh, no! No! No, can I go back? Oh, I want to go back now. Robert nods to Neil, who serves up two shots of whiskey. He hands one to me. Uh. Here's to your health. We take the shots. The whiskey burns going down, but I try my hardest to look oh. tough. Wait, I think this is what making friends is. Okay, Eddie, this guy's out of my friend league, but I think if I play my cards right, we'll be pals in no time. Compliment his hand tattoo. Com let's do the hand tattoo. I like your tattoo. What does it mean? 
No, no, I am bombing so hard with this dude. It's a reminder. I wait for him to elaborate, but it seems like he's done talking. Holy shit, did I screw this up? Man, this guy is mysterious and cool. Way cooler than I am, at least. Robert singles to the bartender for another round. What are you doing here tonight? Trying, running from our problems. Running from our problems? The usual. <laughs> Oh, finally. I like your style. Oh, he gets up. Thank God I finally did something right. He oh. gets up. Be right back. Got a pat on my nose. Never seen Robert this talkative. He must like you. Huh, I guess so. I gotta admit that Robert has a gruff charm to him. If a guy that like that thinks I'm cool, then I really must be. Robert comes back from the bathroom and grabs his uh -huh. leather jacket. I'm gonna go home. You head in my way. Robert and I leave the bar and find ourselves walking uh -huh. in the same direction. I live in this cul-de-sac down the way. Does everybody live here? Me too. We just finished unpacking uh. today. Great place to be. Good neighbors. Well, some of them. Who's that? Ooh, spill the tea. I want to know the dirt. We get to Robert's house, which is just a few houses away from mine. We stop and he turns to me. I don't kiss and tell, Eddie. Ooh, mm -hmm. girl. So are we doing this or what? What? <laughs> you know, do you want to come inside or not? A wave of realization rushes over me. I blush. Uh, smile and nod, laid on smooth. Well, I don't see why not. <sighs> that sounded smoother in my head. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh my god. I follow him up to his door. He fumbles with his keys for a second and unlocks the door, leading me inside. The moment the door closes behind us, oh, oh, grab him hips. Come on. Robert takes my hand and leads me up the stairs and into what I assume is his bedroom, but it's so dark I can't see anything but Robert's intense expression. He kisses me again, and I can hear him shucking off his jacket. I clumsily take off mine to his hands, roam down my chest until he's tugging at my belt. I, uh, I don't normally do this. Don't be the hoe of the neighborhood. You just moved in. <laughs> do you want to stop? Yes, we can't be the hoe of the neighborhood. Actually, I should probably get going. Robert steps back. All right. I think I'm going to head home. Sorry. Nah, it's cool. I head home, my head still spinning with the anxiety of turning Robert down. The side of the couch helps me compartmentalize, though, and before I know it, I'm having dreams about my teeth falling out. Great. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to end this here. This part's getting a little long, uh, so I will be back with more Dream Daddy. I love this game. I love the characters. It is adorable. So thanks so much for watching, and I will be back with more.